So. This is Take 20 with Maddie and Kenzie Ziegler, an iHeartRadio podcast. Hey guys, so this is part two um, with our mom, which is so fun. We're going to be asking her juicy questions and you guys are going to get to know her a little bit better. So what what do we do that um, drives you nuts? <laughs> um, Mackenzie, what you do that drives me nuts is leave stuff everywhere and don't pick things up. <laughs> drives me nuts. Um, Maddie drives me nuts by saying, is this going to be okay? Is this okay? Is this okay? You know, she's such a worrier. <laughs> That's the only thing. I mean, like I could totally live with that. I love how Maddie needs me that way. I know that's crazy. And I don't mind cleaning up after you. So you're gonna not... say I don't mind Kenzie being messy, but that's not the case. <laughs> I really don't. I really it's just you. you've it's just like... learned to live with it. <laughs> I just yeah. it's there's nothing it's not gonna change. I'm sorry. I really wish I could. It's just a terrible trait I have. No, you you Maddie used to be like that. So Yeah, maybe I'll maybe I'll turn into her once I am on my own. All right. Next okay. question. When do you think that me and Kenzie should get married? 30. What? Think, no. You're 30. No. Uh, that's just my, you just asked. So I'm just but when do, you, when do you think is like a good time? When like, did you get married? After you're 26, I think. Yeah. 26, 27, 20. You know, like, I really, I do. I, mean, I actually I just agree with that. that. To, you know, like my sister got married when she was 21. And she's been married her whole life. And Which she, is fine. You know, but it's also like. I think I want to live out my 20s before I'm like yeah. tied down to being fully married yeah. to someone. Right. I mean, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. I'm very impulsive. So we'll see how that goes. You're very what? <laughs> impulsive. Impulsive. Oh my gosh. That's not something you should be impulsive with that. <laughs> That's true. You should think that through because look at, look at mom. <laughs> she got her divorce. Everyone, everyone's bound to. Though. Yeah, it's true. Okay, go ahead. Um, <laughs> I don't know if I should be asking you this question. <laughs> Just go. What's one thing we need to learn how to cook to survive on our own? How to cook? Oh, you just need rice and beans. To be oh, yeah. Great answer. <laughs> I'm always like, when we were younger, I'd be like, mom, can you cook me cereal, please? Just like, yes. And I okay. Love it. Listen, mom, waffles. this is actually really funny. So her food, her burgers are always so good. So good. So good. But there's this one time where they were not good. And my and Dakota and Colin were over. We were all having dinner, eating her burgers. And I I wasn't that hungry. But Dakota finishes burger. He does this thing where if he doesn't like it, he'll just eat it because he feels really oh, yeah. bad. Oh my gosh, so that's terrible. He ate it and then mom was like, There's another burger, eat it. And he's like, No, 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 I'm so full. And she was like, No, 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 eat it. And was like forcing them to eat her the rest of her burgers. And they literally came up to me and were like, I don't know what was wrong with those burgers, but they were not good. Oh my god! I, I don't think I cooked them long enough because I was worried I was going to burn them because oh, I burned no. one of Maddie's burgers and we only had one and I had to shave the top off and she never knew because <laughs> oh I gosh. put cheese on it. Oh, that's so oh funny. my gosh. Okay. Um, uh, what is something we still don't know about you? Um... <laughs> Um, were you a crazy child no I oh I I told my mom well no I think my mom knew but um we used to all go to like senior week it was after we graduated high school mm -hmm. and we stayed at a big house and it was boy and girls you know all together mm -hmm. and I lied to my parents and told them that I was going with all my girlfriends and we were just staying, but we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have any oh, of that that's stuff. So nice. You could just but, go and just, yeah, but we used to lie to our parents and say we were sleeping at each other's houses. And, um, you'd be having a sleepover with a boy. No, we would go to New York city, my girlfriends and I, and we would drive to New York city and, um, yeah. And oh stay in a, uh -huh, for the weekend. That's why I'm such a good driver because I'm not, I was never I was, afraid. That's amazing. I wouldn't say you're a good driver, but wait, that's <laughs> actually amazing. I I love mm -hmm. that you did that. She just went yeah, to New I, York for the weekend. I wish I could do that. I know, right? Like, it sounds like you had a pretty eventful teenage, teenage life. Yeah. Like, now I'm like, 
you're forcing me to leave the house. <laughs> She's like, Kenzie, go, go oh. out, go with your friends. Yeah, we had fun. I mean, we never did anything bad because I was really actually straight. I mean, I never drank or did anything. I was always afraid because my brother did it and I never did, but we would definitely go away for the weekends because the beach was closed. New York City was closed. Yeah. What's it called? Like Coney Island or something? Is that what's called? No, we went to Ocean City, Maryland. Ah, fun. And we stayed in hotels that were $40 a night. Wow. Fun. Um, is there something that we've done that you disagree with? Like, is it, is it, do you think it's tough to let us make our own decisions or? No, I mean, I think you, you guys are, I'm so lucky. Like I hear these parents talk about their kids and I'm like, oh my goodness. I think that we have such a good relationship. We're lucky. So I know, I don't think so. I think now also we come to mom about a lot of things. Yeah. And like we. I mean, obviously, Maddie and I have our have our things that we keep to eat ourselves because yeah. obviously yeah. that's sisters. But I feel like we talk to you about a lot of things. A lot of things. Yeah, no, I I'm really lucky. Like I in this world that we live in, in this town, I mean, it could get really crazy, but we're. I'm lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I'm and very lucky we, and we all kind of deal with anxiety kind of in the same way. So mm -hmm. it's really easy to talk to each other about it, like I, especially me, I've been dealing with really bad anxiety for the first time as like a young adult I feel like like this is the worst it's been since I was younger so you've definitely like helped me through that a lot yeah because I went through the same thing and I exactly. still do yeah exactly I... uh what's the hardest part about us growing up you growing up and going away <laughs> like I, I just like oh it breaks my heart no I mean it's actually good because I'm so proud of you I, I know that you guys are good but I always want you to want me, you know? Yeah, I but know. I feel like well, mom, our relationship got better once I moved out, though. Because then I was like, yeah. oh, my gosh, I it made me realize how much I still need you. You know, mm -hmm. I, I love I love when I think it's funny when I would go to the grocery store and I'd pick you stuff up. And you're like, <laughs> mom, I have my own money. You don't have to spend your <laughs> money. And then I stopped doing it. And then you're like, are you going to the grocery store? <laughs> or, you or she like buys another thing of toilet paper and i'm like we don't need this much toilet paper she's like no no no, i'm bringing it to maddie and i was like or no i'd leave it out there for maddie when she comes yeah it's it's very sweet but i'm wondering because i wonder how you're gonna be that's what i'm saying i'm well i'm was it really hard on you for maddie to well it definitely was because you were crying for weeks when she left <laughs> but do you think you're gonna do the same thing for me or are you just like Oh, I, I the first kid already left, so now I like understand. Are you kidding? How it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be so hard well, for her. No, of course. I it's think gonna... it's gonna be harder yeah. for you because Maddie's different, and I, I didn't cry for weeks for Maddie because I she called me the first day like ten times. Right. Well, I'm gonna do that too, which I love. Um, but no, I think you're gonna be harder. I'm not saying it's because it... I'm worried you're not gonna lock your door, and because Maddie probably locks her door ten times a night. <laughs> Like she goes and checks it and then. No, what I'm thinking is going to be hard on you, mom. It's just like you went from obviously it was hard me leaving, but you still had Kenzie in the house. Mm -hmm. But, you know, now you're not going to. Have... No, I, I knew it was going to be hard. I was just wondering because I've I've talked to like a, a lot of parents about it because I was curious, like my friend's mom's like when the first kid leaves, it's obviously really hard. But then I was like, how is it for the the second kid? Are you just like. You know, oh, it already happened. So like, oh no, I'm gonna need heavy therapy. Oh, <laughs> no, lots of diet, lots of diet coke, and lots of Hallmark movies. Listen, you're gonna, you're you already gonna do that. Have to be at my house telling me how to work the laundry machine. I called did her the other day. How do you do the dishes? Oh my gosh, Kenzie. <laughs> she did the dishwasher. I'm probably gonna be coming. I'll be. I'll probably be your house like cleaner. Oh my god, you're gonna help me decorate my house. I'm so excited to help Kenzie decorate. <laughs> what grows in the forest trees sure know what else grows in the forest our imagination our sense of wonder and our family bonds grow too because when we disconnect from this and connect with this we reconnect with each other. The forest is closer than you think. Find a forest near you and start exploring at discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the United States Forest Service and the Ad Council. 
Look through your children's eyes to see the true magic of a forest. It's a storybook world for them. You look and see a tree. They see the wrinkled face of a wizard with arms outstretched to the sky. They see treasure and pebbles. They see a windy path that could lead to adventure. And they see you, their fearless guide to this fascinating world. Find a forest near you and start exploring at discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the United States Forest Service and the Ad Council. Adoption of teens from foster care is a topic not enough people know about, and we're here to change that. I'm April Dinwiddie, host of the new podcast, Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Each episode brings you compelling real life adoption stories told by the families that live them with commentary from experts. Visit adoptuskids.org slash podcast or subscribe to Navigating Adoption, presented by Adopt US Kids. Brought to you by the US Department of Health and Human Services Administration for Children and Families and the Ad Council. Okay, who is someone you admire and why? Mm. <laughs> well, I really, I, I know this is going to be really weird, but I really admire Steven Spielberg because oh. I, I know this sounds really weird, but seeing him, how amazing he is, and he treats everybody like they're equals and like kind and generous and he knows everyone's name. I mean, that's pretty incredible being yeah, in this business. You see people and, you know, how they're divas and he is so not a diva. I mean, he is really, really someone that I look up to and admire. Totally. Oh, that's very sweet. He is a, oh, he's yeah. an incredible man. And that's really cute. Um, what age or year did you consider to be the best time of your life? Right now. Really? Oh, yeah, for sure. I feel like even though with the world the way it is, um, I'm happy. I, you know, I'm at a place where I can give back and I, you know, I love service work. It's like so exciting for me. Um, and I have you guys, you guys are awesome. I have, you know, Greg, he's incredible. You know, he's, he's such a good dad to you guys. And he's mm-hmm. been a, such a great dad for, you know, since you've been five and six, my goodness, good husband. And, I don't know. I just have a really good life. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. That's very sweet. Yeah. I feel like, and I feel like now too, like I know people say age is just a number, but you really are just kind of like aging backwards. It's pretty crazy. Mm-hmm. And you oh, just yeah, have such a, you just have such, you've always had a very young spirit. Like mm-hmm. you're very good with obviously like, obviously you're amazing with people your age having conversations with them, but then you're also great at like communicating to little kids and like our age people mm-hmm. like you just you're good at adapting yeah a lot of my friends always are say they're you. like if she was my age i'd be best friends with her <laughs> i love that that's so cute do you do you ever wish that we went in a different direction with our career no i mean i want i just wanted you guys to be happy so i don't you know i sometimes wish we had you know, time to go sledding. And, you know, I feel like we missed out on like that stuff at home yeah. because of, you know, we were here in the winters, but um also being now in LA and just not really having like the seasons change as, as much like this year, honestly, a lot of like the leaves changed colors on the trees, which was like, mm-hmm. not, it doesn't always do that. It's been raining since last night. It's still raining. It's really nice, but I'm really excited to like actually go to a different climate and go to snow and like have a change because I think it'll just be really fun. Right. And I, I think also when I was, I, when I was younger, I didn't appreciate home that much. Like going back, I was just like, oh, it's so, I feel so useless. I feel like this is not fun for me at all, but now when i go back i'm like it's so pretty here yeah i know so it'll be nice now we can appreciate nature more it feels like we're literally i know this is such a stupid thing to say but not really but i feel like we're it's like a bob ross painting (laughs) where we live it's literally just like it's beautiful it's just a bunch of happy little trees as bob ross would say pennsylvania has the most trees yeah per square mile pretty crazy just saying but no we have great great neighbors and we have you know I don't know. We'll have yummy breakfast every day and there'll be lots of baked goods being baked and 
you can dance in the dance room and oh uh, and greg and just cooking tons <laughs> yeah. of pictures of us everywhere you look <laughs> oh my god <laughs> that's one thing that our mom does that annoys me she like frames all of our dance photos Oh, I was going to say, I was going to say it annoys me when we're all eating breakfast and we just woke up and we all look like a mess and she takes the, takes a photo of us and posts it on her Instagram. Oh yeah. My favorite is when I was holding one of mom's hair extensions and she, (laughs) (laughs) like as a joke and she posted it and I was like, okay. She posted it. That was years ago. (laughs) (laughs) She's like reminiscing. She's like, oh, what a time. (laughs) Like last week. (laughs) That was not last week. That was like three years ago she, i just need to <laughs> just look at her instagram um, kenzie's literally going on your instagram right now don't troll her <laughs> okay also you like golfing my mom is a great golfer by the way and she has the cutest little golf outfits and she's really good at it and you do better than our stepdad right you do better than Greg. but he's doing much better he's coming here soon after we get back and we're going to be golfing so i went oh. golfing with them i went to top golf and i went actual golfing with yep. good for you first of all i just need to talk about one thing you posted ivy's birthday post and this is the same photo but it's <laughs> cropped <laughs> she does do that a lot she she likes to crop the photos of the dog's faces really close in because they're so cute <laughs> and whenever you see them and also I you mean. tend to post like photos where they look kind of really weird. not cute well, well you know i'm blind is a bad but <laughs> She's like, wow, this photo is just absolutely... My favorite is when you post, like, you'll find photos of us that are just on the internet that someone else has posted, and you, like, just screenshot them and post them, and they're extremely blurry. blurry. (laughs) And I'm like, mom, no one can see this picture. Like, literally, no one can see this picture. It's so blurry. It's so funny. When Maddie, when you were born, um, your papa and I were really close. He passed now, but he used to come to work for six months because I didn't want anybody to bottle feed you or touch you guys I'm really weird um he would walk with you and then I would nurse and then you would rock in the window people would pass by and wave at you in the window and then Kenzie was born I did the same thing with her I never left you guys for like six months Mm -hmm. the first six months of your life it was so it was like the best time I remember that I had the whole wall of our office was filled with pictures of you guys I mean it was probably a hundred photos on the Kenzie, walls Kenzie was literally like the face of your work right wasn't she like yeah. The, oh she yeah was on a billboard. you were on a billboard and I remember like a few months ago you were like this is me and I was like no that was me on the billboard Maddie yeah it was you <laughs> our little chubby arms it was so that's funny. one thing that we sometimes have to like look closely for because like we look at our baby photos and I'll be like mm-hmm. Is this Maddie or is this me? But when we were like baby babies, not like when we were like toddlers. No, no, no. Oh, we looked so different. You yeah. looked so cute. You looked so cute. You had sometimes, big doll eyes. Like Okay, but sometimes I looked a little scary. My eyes were so big <laughs> that it was like <laughs> scary. <laughs> you had the biggest brownest eyes. Yeah, it was so cute. Well. Mm-hmm. I wish you were baby sometimes. Oh, same, honestly. <laughs> Well, thank you, Mom, for coming on and letting people get to know you. This was really fun. Yeah, people are going to love your episodes, Mom. You are so good. And you know she's going to listen to it a thousand times. I'll see you here next time, next <laughs> same time, same place next week, Greg. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> nice. Thanks for having me, girls. Okay, I love you. Love, love you. you. Bye. 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 Thanks so much for taking 20 with us. If you had fun, please give us five stars. You can follow us on Instagram at take 20 Podcast. Email us at take20 at iHeartRadio.com. Or you can call us at 844 or take 20. See you next time. Bye. I hope you guys like this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button down below. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and let me know in the comments below what else you would like to see. I hope you guys like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.